Hello guys and gals, welcome to another unboxing video. This one, however, is a little bit different. And that's because I have gone and bought a past subscription, okay? I, uh, I bought this box for my mate for his birthday a couple of weeks back and he said um, it's really good. So I thought they still have it in stock with my size t-shirt. So I thought I'd treat myself to a past box that I've never had before. And my birthday is coming up. So I thought I'm going to treat myself. So it is a damn hot day today. I am just pouring my voice is hoarse. <sighs> anyway, so what we've got is we've got a past Z-Box. Okay, this one is from February this year, 2020. Um, I think it's Femme Fatale themed. I could be wrong. I don't know. But I, th I think I did a little bit of research. Um, and my mate said that he had DC heroines, so the DC and the femme fatale kind of fit together. So this is a Zavi box, okay, this is the Z box. Uh, generally the subscriptions are, uh, if you go for the yearly subscription it works out to be £17 a month. Um, if you're just renewing it month to month it's £20 and then if you want any of the past boxes, um, I don't know how much they are to be honest with you. Go have a look for yourself. The link's below. Um, if you're lo enjoying these videos, please give me a like and a subscribe. Comment on anything you want, anything you want to know. And if you want to see things in future, if you want me to bang some stuff into my videos, just let me know, okay? So what we're going to do is... Um, yeah, we're going to cut into this. Um, as with every video, uh, we have, um, I rate the boxes that I open uh, based on my own opinion. And I give them an up, and I give them a down, and then I have a running total in the top corner, because the whole point in these videos, are for me, is value for money. So, I always say how much I pay for the box, and then you compare that then to the price in the top corner. How many ups, how many downs. I might say it's a down, you might disagree, and that is okay. That's your opinion, and this is my opinion. But, like I say, we've been getting a lot of notepads recently. Um, I'm not a massive fan of pop vinyls, as uh, some of you may know from previous videos. It, it depends on what mood I'm in, I suppose, when I'm opening these boxes as well. You know, sways which way I'm going to rate them up or down. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into this box. And we're going to see what's in it. As we always do. And as we always do, this box is really battered. I don't know if you can see this, but this some real dings and there's a tear and oh it's 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 i think it's been through a bit it's seen too much so let's get it open and uh let's put it out of its misery shall we <laughs> right so okay we've got pack we've got packing material which you don't have to pay extra for so the first oh my god Oh, wow. You are gorgeous. Right. This is Harley Quinn. Okay. Um, oh, what's the name of the company? I think it's Cryptozoic, I believe. Um, I could be wrong. Um, they have done a selection of uh, DC females and they've turned them into bombshell characters like... Like the side of an American uh, aeroplane, uh, you know, the pinup girl. Well, they've created an actual model based on pinup models, but used DC female characters. The very first unboxing video I did, we got, we got Mira. And, uh, and I think that's fantastic. And you know what? Harley Quinn right now, I've got such a... Sorry, Bob Ross. I've knocked over Deadpool Bob Ross. I apologise, Bib. So, I'm on a massive, massive, massive DC hype at the minute. And oh, let's 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 get it open. Let's get it open so we can have a look at it. I'll put a close-up on screen for you guys. 
um, so you can have a look let's get into this packaging because what I what what's been happening or what has happened is that I got two graphic novels and both of them were part two which was a bit of a all right but I ain't got part one so I've got part one for one of them and I started reading them and I thought you know what these are really good so then Zavi where we get these e-boxes from had an offer on where you buy 10 of uh, the DC collections and you get them for 25 quid so I got 10 for 25 quid and now my graphic novel collection is coming along nicely my goodness she's gorgeous right Harley Quinn as a DC bombshell by Cryptozoic and I know how that much these cost as well so uh, obviously I'm going to give this an up because it is so well made I mean the detail on the painting is just it's something else it's gorgeous um these are generally about 20 quid on a normal day you'd spend probably up to 25 quid but sometimes they're in the sale sometimes they're a bit cheaper sometimes they're a bit more expensive so as an average i'm going to give this 20 quid and i'm obviously going to give it an up because that's stunning the the the, uh, the the paint quality and the model quality is and they're quite heavy as well to be fair it's um well 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 that is um that's great that's paid for the box that's 20 quid i paid 17 for this how is anybody making any money? I really don't know. But, pff, hey, I'm happy. Um, okay, it's a pin badge. It's, uh, oh, it's Black Widow. Okay. It's a Black Widow pin badge. Come on, love, get out. Right. Um, yeah, Marvel, oh, it's Marvel Comics. Um, it's a pin. I don't know how you feel about pin badges. Lately, I've kind of liked them because me and my son have made a board and we're sticking all sorts of stuff like this on uh, the board itself. What? It says it's interactive. If I find how this works, I will put it on the video for you. But this is an interactive pin badge weird um well there we are oh, oh gosh how much are these i'm going to give it an up because i'm giving pins good quality pins animated quality pins um i'll get i'm giving that an up and three quid it's a pin badge what more can i say you know but there we are moving on can we do the t-shirt let's do the t-shirt what are you? So, Birds of Prey. Okay. We have... Do you know what? I watched the film recently. It's... Nah. It's not for me. As much as I love DC right now, it's not for me. Uh, to, in all fairness, in all fairness, I think that the films have actually ruined the Harley Quinn character. Because Harley Quinn in the comics, in the computer games, in, in everything else is a real devious criminal. She's like a mastermind. But the way that she's being portrayed in the films, she's a sexy psychopath. And that's it. So, so yeah. So, yeah, Birds of Prey. I don't even know what it looks like. I like that. That's nice. I like it. Yeah, okay, it's got Margot Robbie as uh, as Harley Quinn. Um, not a massive fan of the film version of Harley Quinn. I've had discussions with this about, uh, with my missus. She feels exactly the same way. Harley Quinn's amazing, just not in the films. Suicide Squad was a bit of a letdown anyway. And if anybody knows who I am, I have massive hang-ups about CGI. And Suicide Squad was just a massive orgy of CGI. And it wasn't really a good story either. So, and uh, Harley Quinn wasn't a good character. A sexy psychopath is not a good character. Um, but that t-shirt is actually really nice. It's, um, I like pink. So yeah, so, uh, well, I'm giving that an up. And with all t-shirts, I'm giving it a tenner. So, moving on. It's Catwoman. 
And she's very pretty. We've got models and stuff. Catwoman, DC. I don't, I don't know what she looks like. I can't get on. I'll put, I'll, I'll, I'll put a close up on screen. Anyway, uh, Catwoman, DC. It feels quite heavy. It feels metal, in fact. And from what I can see through the plastic, it actually looks rather nice. But I'll put a a close up on screen and you can decide for yourselves. So there we are. Catwoman. It's all is it all DC? Alright, we've got three DC and one Marvel. So um Femme Fatales, yes, it's all female based. Okay. Good. Because the, the the last time I received a, a themed Z, uh, Z box, it said magical. And we had it was Pretty crap, to be honest with you. But we had Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, and Jaws. Spielberg's magical? Who knows? Anyway, let's move on. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So we've got four items. Oh, Catwoman, sorry. Um, give it an up, because that looks really good, if I can get it out of the packaging. Um, for that... Oh, what are we saying? Eight quid? It's quite small, but it is made of die-cast metal, from the feel of it. I can't be sure. I haven't read the box either. But yeah, so it's an up, and I'm going to give it eight quid. So there we are. And that's all of it. So we've got the Catwoman. We've got the... Look at that. That, that is the value of the box, plus more right there. And then on top of that, you've got the Harley Quinn t-shirt. Birds of Prey, sorry. And uh, the Marvel badge. So... Z-Box has done it again. It's a fantastic valued box, right? Because that is 30, 40, that's, that's about 40 quid's worth of stuff right there. And I don't know how much I paid for this, to be honest with you. I can't remember. I just treated myself and didn't even look. I think, I think it's about 20 quid. Excuse me. It's about 20 quid. So I paid 20 quid, over 40 quid's worth of value. That's what it's all about, really, isn't it? And especially the fact that we've had no downs in any of this this time round anyway um phenomenal um thank you very much for watching if you've liked what you've seen today give me a comment give me a like give me a subscribe i nearly said give me a subscription don't give me a subscription just click the subscribe button so then you can have a look at all my videos when they come out it'll give you a little notification um uh, all my socials as always are at the end of the video uh go check those out if you want to if you don't don't bother you know it's your world. You do what you want. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Ta-da.